All right, here's a quick update on my semi-submarine. Got it hooked up to my lawn tractor battery until I get my other battery. I'm gonna put a battery there and another one here. That'll be the main drive, which I'll explain in a second. The steering and whatnot. And then my instruments and everything else will be run by this. Got these put on. Show you a quick inside. Ooh, now that's gonna be cool. There's also, a, if you don't want that on, you can also see your instruments like that. I only have a temperature gauge right now. Uh, here is my steering joystick so I can move it to wherever I want. Um, it's made up of a three or a two way momentary on and off switch or forward and back. You can see the light dimming. Um, so, uh, and then left and right is right here. And I'll show you how that works. So as soon as I get these attached securely, this drill motor will turn. This is completely disconnected from the strap. It's a different piece and it'll twist this. So, let's see if I can demonstrate it without it popping out here. Obviously that way pops out, but I think you get the picture. And then that obviously will be attached to the rest of the little electric motor which I have laying over here and uh, I need to I want to rebuild it because it's got wet and rusty inside and it turns a little bit but I can't find brushes or contacts on the internet so I'll probably just have to buy a whole new newer used uh, trolling motor for this you can see my Harbor Freight special my drill I took the battery and the switch out, and it was a f up, forward, down, reverse, so you don't have to click anything to go into reverse mode. So I have the switch run all the way to uh, the control, and then the battery is run from here. The battery pack from the handle of the drill runs to the switch. So that was the trigger. You can see I have a CB radio. My little. The only reason I did CB is because I foolishly put a CB in my boat instead of a marine band radio, and uh, and. Uh, Um, so then I wanted to be able to communicate, so I put a CB in here too, and they're pretty cheap comparatively, so that had a little bit to do with it too. There's a little antenna. So, so you get my battery mounted up here. Let's see, Let's see the little fishies? I'm trying to figure out what I can actually do with this thing. I think the uh, main thing I'll be doing with it is maybe having a uh, ROV that I can steer while looking through the bowl or fishing out the top or who knows what. Maybe a lot of people want me to hook a harpoon onto it and uh, try to shoot fish, but I've already done that by hand and it's a lot more involved than you might think. I mean, you get one shot and that's it or however many you have. Then you're dealing with probably not hitting anything. It's pretty hard to get any distance underwater. 
And plus I want it to be easy to load with two people into the water. So this is pretty much my setup so far. My goal is to have a float test slash drive around test. Uh, have a blast test in about a month or two once the water is unfrozen at my favorite hole there's a little uh, little creek creek thing that I can drive down that I think will be pretty awesome and uh, let's see here the windows closed it's pretty awesome it feels like you're underwater when all you can see is down there look there's some koi fish so this is basically how you drive around. Have your little dry stick to drive around. So fly by wire I say. That's pretty neat. And then you can breaker breaker nine. Breaker nine. Anybody got your ears on? Type of bullshit thing. So I'll turn down a chatty chuck here and uh, show you if you do need to drive around, it's easy enough to look forward above the above so you can just go cruising around. The back flaps down too, I guess I'll show you. Uh, look behind you, back up, whatever. And uh, so you can kind of see best of both worlds you got a nice little boat might be able to do some fishing on here a little cheater well if you like what you see make a comment subscribe of course because you don't want to miss out Paul Elkins if you're listening this one's going in the water and same with those little boats too um, as always shout out to my Canadian homies uh, keep it real. You're about two hours away. In fact, my uh, fiance was born in Canada. She lived in a bordering town, and I always give a shit about it. But I'm kind of jelly in a way. Proud to be an American, though. Um, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, rate, whatever, and uh, share it with somebody you think might like it. And I'll probably have another update, maybe two. As my progress progresses on um, my controls, I don't know if I'll mess with having an ROV quite yet, but um, pretty excited to see how it all goes and I'll keep you updated. Real quick, I'll just explain how I made my transom here. The raft that this goes inside, if you check out my other videos, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The raft goes out to around here. And uh, this is just a piece of plywood with some U-bolts through it. Some half inch EMT conduit, a broom holder or mop, and a quick disconnect system with this uh, little hose clamp I can just undo that real quick slide it back and then pop it out on both sides then I don't have to carry it around with this on there all the time this is my power for the trolling motor it's going to go up to the momentary on off switch and then back to the uh, either the regulator that came with the trolling motor or just straight up hardwired to the trolling motor so it's just on or off and no no speed control 
which I don't feel like I really need. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can use this as my negative, and this as my positive, and these are just for the other speeds. I don't know if I have to connect all three of these together to get full speed, but I think I can get away with just these two. So let me know if you know anything more about that than I obviously do. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm sure a couple of you have already gone through that. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Check out my other videos for this lawn tractor full suspension project. It's a work in progress, so they'll be kind of mixed in with each other. And as always, as always, as always, thanks for watching.